readings all. I don't know if you've been watching. How many of you, even those who plan to repatriate to Africa, and those who are there already, how much of news about Africa do you see? No, you're not there in Africa. You tell yourself you're not there in Africa. You're there to retire and you go back home to the place, to the most beautiful place on the planet, the most powerful, you know, the, for the most resources and the greatest land ever made. And not looking at the events that are taking place. One of them is planned for Kenya in 2027, they're saying. 2026, sorry. For the last three years, I heard Africans complaining about all the summits that the leaders are going to around the world. Why can't these summits be held in Africa? As though if they're held in Africa, the results are going to change. But now, for some reason, I hope you know the reason. They got the French president to talk Rudo from Kenya into having this uh, meet and greet with the European leaders and the rest of the people who live like the Japanese and the Koreans and the Australians who have the same plan for Africa. They're going to come to Africa now. And it would appear that the Africans are overjoyed by the fact that these people are coming to Africa now. Nobody is saying, hey, we don't want you. You're bringing the same program that you had when we went to Europe or when we went to Japan or Korea. Nothing has changed. You still have the same program on the table. All the talk over the last four or five years. Oh, oh to, uh, shoot. Since 18, no. Uh, we're not gonna go back that far. All the plans we have since the last four or five years. You didn't put any in place. You made promises, uh, we're gonna do this, but you gotta give us our, your resources, you know. Nigeria, they got the oil that they couldn't get from Russia. And pretending that they don't get from Russia, really. But now the cost is just so much that they're trying to get the Nigerians to sell it and them cheaper. All over Africa, they are arriving 
sending in people who are singing praises about Kenya and Tanzania, Nigeria, Ghana. But if you look at all of these economies that they're singing praises about, you'll see that the problems that were there before they started singing praises about them are still there. The president of Nigeria got the people to stop protesting against his his uh, leadership by promising the young people that he's going to send them to Germany so they can make some money. And these people didn't say to him, hey, we are capable of building Kenya so we don't have to go anywhere. The money will stay in Kenya. We will surpass Germany. They weren't taught to think like that. The slave is just taught to work at what he's taught to do. If it's to go to school, write some numbers down, create a graph, that's what he's going to do. If it's to write code, that's what he's going to do. going to be a slave anywhere in the world that he goes. But dear Mr. President and all the other people around him that are stealing everything they can and sending it to Europe because they think the Europeans are going to keep it safe with it. Now the protesters, the ones who could got rid of them, they're sending them to Europe. And they are happy now. But African leaders have always done that. Now the competition is on to see who else can get their people who are unhappy with what's going on in Africa to other countries in Europe and Asia. You who are coming from the diaspora thinking that you're going to a place where it's better than where you are, not paying attention to what's going on. I'm happy to see you move, but when you get to Africa, you better build something because Europe is on the way out. And when the Africans rush back to Africa, going to be trouble. You see what happened when they rushed out of Ukraine? When the war started in Ukraine, the Africans grabbed their bags and ran to another European country. And all the other European countries said, no, 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 we don't want you here. We'll take the Ukrainians, but we don't want you. All these Africans are uh, not paying attention. They are not paying attention to what's going on. And they're going to get upset with what I'm saying now because that's what they do naturally. They don't like to hear the truth. Facts. Make them angry.
but the facts are staring them in the face. The world is changing. Africa is now at the crossroad where it has to choose. And guess what they are choosing? Following Ruto. Following Ruto will do the same old thing and expect different outcome. Ruto doesn't want a different outcome. Ruto wants things to continue as they are. Him and all the other African leaders want things to continue as they are. But the world around them is changing. If you as a diaspora, African roots, you better start building. Now, if you build, when the Africa rushes home, if he can get home, and he has a job, there will be no riots and no wars when he sees that you are prospering and he had to leave. If you're able to help him, you will not be harmed. If you are not able to help him because you are there partying, cigars, videos, you know, you're showing off your pool. Here yeah, I am in Africa, I'm doing... Beware, the time is coming. You're not watching the changes taking place and not prepared. Peace.